What is up, lads? Andre here, bringing you the strongest team on FIFA 15. Uh, and today I'm going to do a bit of a different squad build. I'm not going to show you a lot of clips and such. I'm just going to play a live game after I've shown you the squad because I can probably can't play more than one game because this team looks utterly shite. Uh, there's a few bronze, well, there's quite a few bronze players, and none of them have got has got pace, and there's no chemistry in the team. So I'm just going to play one live game after this, and we're going to see how that goes. But in goal, we have got a silver goalkeeper who plays for EA Gwyn. Camp, I think that is in League A, and his name is Samasso. Looks like a decent goalkeeper. He's six for six, and he's got 90 strength in games. So a really strong goalkeeper there. Uh, not really sure what you need strength in goalkeepers. Uh, if you need strength um, in goalkeepers, because uh, I don't really need. I don't know what you need that for. But moving on to our centre back, we have got a uh, an absolute legend, and that is Christopher Samba. He's only got 81 physical on his card. But he has got a strength of 95 in game, which is really, really good. And uh, other than his pace, he does actually look like a solid centre back. He's six foot four. He's high defensive work rate, and he's really, really strong. Uh, I'm not sure if he's good in the air. He should be because he's actually got 86 heading accuracy. Uh, but moving on to our second centre back is going to be another silver card, and that is going to be Balloy. I think his name is, uh, who's a 72 rated silver player. Uh, who has got 95 strength in game as well? He's got 83 physical. You can see on him as well, 59 pays. Doesn't look too good. He cost me 400 coins. I've actually paid quite a bit of coins for some of these players because uh, uh, all of these strong players does actually go for quite a bit because uh, people list them up for stupid prices. I think we've paid quite a bit for our left back here, which is Elo Kobe. He's got 89 physical on his card, but he's only got 55 pays uh, on his card as well but he's got 95 strength as well uh, I've actually paid 1.3k for him I probably won't use him ever again because of his pace I need a bit more pace in a left back than 55 but that 89 physical does indeed look very very nice we've got another right back a bronze right back and that is this guy here who's a French guy with 58 pace he has got 76 physical on his card, but he's got 92 strength in game, and he's also six foot one. Looks like a shit right back yet again. Uh, picked him up for 300 coins, and uh, other than his strength, he's got really no key attributes. Uh, then moving on to our centre mid, we have got a Nigerian guy, I think it is. This guy here, Ugu, with 44 pays, but he's got 85 physical. All of these, no, not all of these, but a few of these have got good physical. He's six foot three, and he's got 93 physical. Uh, no, 93 strength, or, uh, sorry, uh, he's got 85 physical because of his 81 stamina as well. Looks like a shocking player yet again, but most of these players are really, really shit, except some of the players that we do have on the bench, which I will show you uh, soon. Um, we have got a silver player as a second centre mid, I think it's a CDM as well. Uh, and that He's got Gouloon, his name is, uh, he's got 55 pace, 81 physical, 6 foot 5, and he's got 96 strength. He's one of the strongest players in this team I do believe um, not sure who is the strongest at the moment by the way uh, but we'll find out very very soon he's got high attacking uh, work rate as well doesn't look very attacking with those stats 49 shooting well hey really good shooting on him yeah uh, at left mid we have got a uh, Polish guy I think it is yeah Patty Duke Patty Duke not sure how you pronounce that name but yet again looks really really shit he's got 91 strength six for two as well uh, got a really, really bad pace. Paid 200 coins for him, though. So, I guess it's not too bad. We can't really go any cheaper than that. And then, moving on to the right midfielder, where we've actually got a decent-looking... Well, in terms of this team, he's actually a decent-looking card. And that is a silver Spanish card. What am I doing now? I'm completely lost to here. He's actually a right winger, I do believe. Uh, he's a silver player as well, a Spanish one. Here we go, his name is Alamo, he's got 77 pace, uh, 2 star skill boost unfortunately, six, he's 6 foot 3 as well with 75 physical and 91 uh, strength in game. So he, just like, he doesn't look like a decent player in this team. Then moving on to two strikers, we've got two Englishmen and you always you obviously know who the first one is. It is obviously Akin Fenua, the big beast himself, the strongest player on FIFA 15. I do believe he is, actually. Uh, 97 strength on him. Low, low work rates. Looks pretty shocking, to be fair. But he scored 22 goals in 20 games for the guy who's had him before me. I have to pay 11k for him as well. But that's obviously just because of his reputation. We all know Akin Fenua, the big beast. Um, then our second striker to complete the team is this guy here, Reed. 
He's got 42 plays and looks shocking. He looks like an absolute terrible player in this game. He's got 94 strength, however. Paid 200 coins for him as well. And he's a 6 foot 3 player. Uh, 75 physical, 42 plays. Looks like a shocking, shocking striker. And um, this. Oh, and what am I doing now? Uh, this combination up top is probably going to be. Well, it's actually got a bit of chemistry up here. I think they both got 6 chemistry, yeah. So uh, that might actually be decent, even though they're both pretty, pretty slow. And then we're going to move on to the bench. First up, we've got this guy here, Abdullah Ba, who looks like a decent centre back, yeah, because of his uh, because of his pace, and he's a bronze player. But he does play in a shit league, I do believe, and he's got a pretty shit nationality. He's six foot seven though, which is pretty insane. He's got ninety five strength, um, so he does indeed look like a very very solid card. Very hard to link him up though because of his nationality and because of his league. Then we've got Sheklam. Yet again, different, difficult nationality and league. He's six foot four, and he has got ninety-four pay, no, ninety-four strength. Uh, he's got forty-nine paints. Um, picked him up for two hundred and fifty coins. He does actually look like a solid centre back yet again for a bronze, except that pace. But that physical does look good on a centre back. Then we've got Al Zuma, who does actually look well. Besides pace again, they're all pretty slow. All of these players are so slow that is, I, I don't really know. Like, can you not be? Quick and have a good strength as well. Like some players do have that, but not not uh, these players here. We've got Alsuma, six for four, ninety four strength. Um, looks pretty shit yet again. Then we've got Sal with eighty five uh, physical. Yet again, terrible pace. He would have been a class centre back if he would have had a bit more pace. He's got ninety four strength and he's got high defensive work rate, so he looks really really good. Then we've got Boney, who's the best player in this team. He's got 85 physical and he, he is very good in this game, I do believe. I haven't tried him too many games, so I've played a couple of games, not with this card here, but on a different account. He's got 94 strength and looks like a very, very good striker on this game. Then we've got Babin, who's got 88 physical, which means that he's got good stamina and good strength. He's got 86 stamina, 94 strength, uh, so it looks like a really, really good centre back there in the BVVA for Silvers. Uh, obviously that pace is a problem though. I do like a bit of a bit more pace than my centre backs. Then we've got this Russian guy here, Bukarov, I think. Yeah, Bukarov. Uh, 82 physical, 94 strength in game. Looks shocking yet again. It cost me 350 coins. Uh, so that is the strongest team on FIFA 15. Um, there's a few more players like Boney. Like, no, not like Boney, but uh, Boney, for example, has got 94 strength. And there's a few more players with 94 strength. Uh, but I just picked the best ones. Uh, or the ones uh, with the highest, uh, who was highest rated. Uh, so that is the team. I'm going to get get into a live game now, see how this team plays. It's the strongest team on FIFA, so let's see how this team performs in game. So let's move into a live game. Right, so let's see what team our opponent has got. He's actually got a fair few silver players here. So we've got a chance, I guess, but I can't see us winning this game. We're going to get absolutely fucked with that pace he's got. He's got Sinclair and Townsend as well as Abla Hernandez. We've got Chris Samba and uh, Baloy at the back. Here is Reed. Finds a. Oh, look at Akin Fenua. Look at Akin Fenua. Akin Fenua makes it 1 0 after two minutes. Wow, he just went straight through the defence there. Look at that. Adina Ba Akin Fenua, or however you say his name. Lovely finish there with his left foot as well. Boom. Oh, here's Akin Fenua again. Here's Akin Fenua again. The strength. Oh, the shot. Man, Akin Fenua is overpowered. Oh, look at this. Reed. Reed. Oh, no. Let's see, Bolo. Come on. Come on. What a tackle. What a tackle. Oh, but he scored. My fucking goalkeeper just stands there. Alright, let's try and go all the way with Akin Fenua here, straight from kickoff. Try and bully him off the ball. Akin Fenua! Akin Fenua! Oh! Oh, look at the run there from Reed. Oh, he's done a little skill move. Finish it! Oh, good shot again. Akin Fenua, he's obviously going to win that header. Here is Amal. Cuts inside. Reed! Reed! Yes! He's made it 2 1! Matt Reed, I think his name is, makes it 2 1 in the 45th minute. Lovely finish as well. Lovely pass from Almao, I think his name is. And boom, 2 1. We've got a 2 1 lead at half time. I have to say, this team hasn't been too too bad so far. Come on, Akin Fenwa, make a run. Oh, Akin Fenwa for Reed. Reed, 
Takes the Barca goalkeeper, is that a penalty? No, it's not. Oh, Pater Duke. Reed. Is Reed. Yes, he's made it 3 1. Matt Reed. Whips it for Akin Fenwa. Come on, son. Come on, son. Akin Fenwa. No, he's just. He's managed to miss that one. No. Takes it down on his chest and he's just supposed to finish that. Oh, Reed is through. Reed. Oh, good save. Reed. Reed. And it's 4 1. Hat trick for Matt Reed. I don't know what the goalkeeper was doing there. But I'll take that goal. Matt Reed with a hat trick. Wow, he is good, I have to say. And then the ball through for Gulan, who's got no more fitness left. He whips it for Reed. Reed takes it down. Reed, he's going to finish it. He's actually going to finish it. Matt Reed has scored four goals. So that is the end of the game, guys. That man there, Matt Reed, scored four goals. And we won 5 1 in the end. I did not expect that at all. I was expecting a loss here, no matter who I played. This guy had a few silver players. You can see the Matt Reed, four goals. I can Fenno score the first. And that was actually a really, really good game. So that is the team, guys. This man here, Matt Reed, really, really surprised me. I mean, look at them stats. They are so shit, but he scored four goals in one game. You can pick him up for 200 coins, so uh, go and try him out. He was really, really impressive. I don't know how he plays against a full goal team, though, but... Against the team I played, he was really, really good. So that is the team. I don't think it's going to cost you more than like 10 to 20k if you want to build it. But I don't think any of you want to build it anyway. However, it was fun to play with that one game. Uh, but that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have, then be sure to leave it a like. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys next time.